Well, hello everybody, it's Rose, and I'm back with another unboxing. This time, I am unboxing, I'm gonna, I have these six diamond paintings that I ordered from the Uyijia store on AliExpress. Uh, that would be Uyijia factory store that I ordered these from. And I am going to open them over a series of six videos and give you my first impressions, etc. as per usual. Uh, I think I'll start with the smaller package. Uh, it says that there are four in here and two in here. So let's get into this. Um, so I am now ordering smaller diamond paintings because I have a lot of really, really big ones that I've ordered and I I know I was letting it get out of control. So I'm just trying to take back some control. Okay, so I see that what we have here is inside the main wrapping, there are two bags with the actual diamond paintings in them. So let's just open this enough that I can get into those two bags. Okay, so I am shooting this on May 30th, and I got these, I believe it was May 27th. Anyway, um, all right. Now I'm trying to stay out of the shot as much as possible. I know you're not watching this to see me. Okay, all right, so there we go. There's the two, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Don't need that one yet. Which one am I gonna open? Doesn't matter. I'll open the small one. Okay, uh, so like I said, I ordered six diamond paintings and these don't seem to be labeled on the outside, so it'll be a surprise which one I'm opening. Let's just see. Oh, goodness. Let me just get right in here. Okay, so the first thing I see is that the canvas is on a roller. The roller didn't go right to the end, so the very edge of the canvas is a little bit um, crunched, crushed, but that's not gonna hurt the diamond painting if that's the only thing that uh, got crunched. All right, so the other thing I see is that it's got just plain white paper on it. And I don't know if I've received just plain white paper before, but we shall see what we shall see. Okay, and then I have a big bag of drills, but that bag of drills is not coming out. It's stuck. All right, so I have to cut this bag open because I think part of the bag of drills was sealed into... Um, Oh, All right, so there, well, that's a big bag of drills. And here we have the kit. And there is nothing else inside of this. Okay, good. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna show you. This is the thumbnail of the diamond painting. I call this nature goddess. Um, and you'll see why in a moment. Now, before we get into the canvas, which I'm just going to um, roll the opposite way to relax it just a wee bit, because I don't want rivers. Now, I've seen a bunch of different videos online about you know making sure you don't get rivers by letting canvases relax. I find I don't let my canvases relax, and I have not had a problem with rivers or um, puckers or anything like that for a very long time. I I don't know what the cause of rivers and puckers is. Maybe someday 
somebody will figure it out and when I apply whatever they learned it'll be the same on my canvases but so far it doesn't seem to matter so I'm just gonna let this relax a little bit while I show you the kit okay so it comes with a regular green boat a regular one placer um, looks like two baggies wrapped around a little tray of wax regular tweezers no multi placers I, I don't really care about the multi placers because first off I have a whole bag full of them and second um, this is a lot of confetti so let's uh, let's just take a look at the inventory sheet while we let that canvas um, settle for a little bit so it looks like there are 38 colors which is good um, and let's take a look at the symbols well I can't really see them well I'm, I'll look at them through the camera all right so these are sort of pictograms or whatever so I'm gonna have to come up with names for all of these which doesn't excite me but okay oh I see the Star Trek symbol right there Star Trek symbol okay yeah okay I'll be able to figure out names for these I've seen most of these before all right um, I'm just gonna leave that aside for now let me tell you about this picture so as you see it is a 60 by 80 I said I wasn't gonna order big ones but apparently this is a apparently I lied 60 by 80 square and sure enough those drills are square the Ouija Ouija factory store I paid $33 and 8 cents Canadian for this which works out now that was after all my discounts I ended up getting um, an 11.8% discount overall on my order of six diamond paintings uh, so yeah um, the total order before discounts was $138 Canadian uh, this diamond painting before discounts was $27.49 US and I'm giving you the before discounts price because the discounts matter based on you know what coupons you've got for the store whether you use any of your own coupons or you know coins or anything like that um, it also there's a volume discount so the more you spend in the store the bigger your discount is so without any discounts this canvas is $27.49 US um, yeah okay so let's take a look at it shall we uh, now where is the top so the first thing I'm seeing is that the um, legend is only printed on one side oh on the top it looks like and this is the largest legend I've ever seen like it's stretched out but anyway it's very very big uh, I have to move my stuff around here because this is a very large diamond painting okay so let me just get those drills out of the way for now let's straighten this out uh, I thought I'd be able to open all of these on the table but I don't know I might have to move to the floor. I don't know, we'll see. We'll see. Okay, so the other thing that I'm noticing here that is a little bit wonky is that there are one, can you see all this? No, you can't see all this. Uh, I forgot to measure the diamond painting while I was recording the video about it, but I just did measure it and it is in fact 60 by 80 so uh, it is true to size so it's got one two three four five strips of adhesive which is weird and something else I have never seen before the drill area 
goes to the very edge of the canvas on the left hand side, which is just beyond weird. And on the right hand side, let's see. Well, on the right hand side, it's the same thing. Look at that. That canvas extends only about not even a quarter of an inch. That's about, I don't know, two millimeters, maybe three millimeters beyond the edge of the drill field, which is very, very weird. Okay, so let's, let's pull back these strips. And you know what? I am gonna do that on the floor. So I have gone ahead and uncovered the diamond painting. Um, and I'm just going to get the thumbnail again because, okay, because it doesn't look like much until I look at the thumbnail again. So I'm just going to stick the thumbnail in here for you. So it's this woman, the nature goddess, in this forest or whatever. Sorry, I'm trying to keep this as still as possible. Um, you know what? I'm just going to stick a picture of the item from the website up on the screen here. Um, okay, so it's it's the picture of the woman. And so here is the the deer, male deer with the you know beautiful uh, antlers. And there's her black hair and her face. She's leaning over it. Um, it looks like she's holding her arm up high and then she's got this humongous long sleeve on this gown that she's wearing. Anyway, um, it's, it's really pretty. It's going to be super colorful. Uh, in the end, I'm not sure how much I'm going to love this. Oh, I'm liking it better. There's little rabbits down here. There's little rabbits down there. And they're very clear. So... I suspect that this is a diamond painting that is going to have all kinds of little hidden treasures in it. And, um, and so it might be fun to do just to see what all the little treasures are. I mean, there's all kinds of flowers and things like that. The colors are not necessarily the colors that I normally choose. Uh, they're a little uh, on the darker, less jewel-like uh, scale of colors. Okay, Micah, I don't want you on this diamond painting. Um, but, but it was kind of an interesting image. And so I wanted to try it out. Okay, so now I'm going to take you out of the cradle. And I'm going to bring you in close so that you can see the legend, the drill field, etc. And the detail on her face, on the rabbits, on the deer, etc. Okay, so just a moment and I will try to do this with the least possible jostling of the camera. So let's, let's go up to the top here. So you see that's her sleeve coming down to her neck and head here. She's holding the deer's face. There are its antlers. Yeah, I think it's going to be really, really pretty. Okay. And then down there, you see the bunny rabbits? They're cute. And as you get in close, even close up, like there's good definition there. Yes, they're pixelated when you get that close up. But it's very, very clear what those are. So the clarity of the picture is good. Let's take a look at the drill field. Now I'm going to try and hold this as steady as possible while I show you this drill field. There's an awful lot of these black symbols on the canvas. I don't think that's going to be a problem. I mean, it looks quite clear when you, when you take a look at these. Uh, with a light pad especially, and I always, I always, always use a light pad. 
you don't have to use a light pad, but I just find it makes it so much easier to diamond paint using a light pad. So, yeah, I think that's clear. Uh, the, the symbols are very, very distinct. I'm not seeing anything that's going to confuse me. Um, yeah, no, that looks, that looks pretty clear. Okay, that's good. That's good. Uh, the, the adhesive is absolutely perfect. There are no puckers, there are no rivers, there are no little lumps or bumps or folds in the adhesive. The adhesive cover is perfect. But I will show you here, you see where it stops being shiny? That's where it goes. That's how far the adhesive goes. So right up to the O in the no for number, um, right up to the right edge, bottom edge, if you will, of the number. So I'll have to cover over that with clear tape. I'm not fussed about that because um, the only time I ever use the legend is to label my containers my drill containers and then after that I never look at the legend on the canvas again just I never do so that doesn't bother me but it's just a weird way of doing this and again having the diamond painting drill area extend right to the very edge of the canvas on both sides is something I've never seen before and um, you can tell that it's intentional because they've got the guidelines for cutting. Those black lines right here at the edge, those are the guidelines for cutting the canvas. So it was intended that this be printed in exactly this way. Let's take a look at the symbols. And there's a, oops, I wanna get paper on there. And there's a little bit of um, glare from the light coming in the window. So I'm angling my camera so that you can see it as well as possible. Like, okay, take a look at 26 there. That is a super intricate uh, pictogram or whatever. Let's find it on the canvas. That is number 26, I guess it was, 26, yeah. Um, so it comes out very clear. Um, yeah, all right. So the printing on, the, oh, jeez. Okay, my pants stuck to it. Um, yeah, it, it, the printing is very, very clear. No problem with that. The colors are actually really pretty. They're not my usual colors, but they're very, very pretty. Okay, all right. And I hadn't finished showing you the legend, so let's just keep going here. All right. Um, I'm going to put you back in the cradle. I'm going to cover this up, put you back in the cradle, and I'm going to set up my drills on uh, the back of the canvas and then we'll go through the drills okay okay everybody so i haven't shown you yet the back of the canvas uh so here it is it's perfect there is nothing wrong with the back of this canvas um these little the creases at the very edge of the canvas that's not going to affect the picture in any way so i'm not worried about that so there you go okay so let me now, do the drills for you, and I'll lay them out first, and then do the inventory. I'm going to show you, uh, they actually wrapped this bag of drills in cling wrap, which is a good safety feature, but it makes it hard to get into. So, um, but it is a good safety feature in terms of, you know, helping to make sure that the drills don't... Uh, the drill bag doesn't get damaged, and if it does, it's all held together. So, let's get the clean wrap off, and then, okay, so there we go. So there's the drill bag. I'm not going to uh, record 
laying out the drills, but I will record the um, the inventory. Okay, so just a moment. This isn't absolutely perfect, but I'll be able to show you all of the drill colors uh, close up. So 987, I've got two, and I'm going to be looking at the quality of the drills at the same time, since I've never ordered from this company before. Uh, 987. Okay. All right, so 987, I'm supposed to have four, and I actually have five. So that's a plus one, and I'm just gonna get some tape, because I like to make sure that my bags are of the same color, are all um, attached to each other. Okay, so 787 or 987 rather uh, then what's this okay this is 823 and I have two of those and that's what I'm supposed to have 166 okay those drills look good they look perfectly flat on the bottom. Well, there's some divots, dimples, whatever. Now, I just watched Rachel Ray a couple of days ago and she does not like dimples. Um, I have not experienced problems with dimpled drills, but I will pay attention on my upcoming diamond paintings because you know it's quite possible that uh, I just haven't noticed problems with them, but I will be paying very close attention to my dimple drills for the future. So 166, I need 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so I've got a plus one there. Okay, I like the fact that so far this company is sending extra drills. Uh, I'm not, mm, this is 606, okay, uh, 606, I need 20 packages, and let's just take a look at those drills, again, they look, they look good, I don't see any trash, they actually look tiny, really tiny. really really tiny oh, okay we'll see um, we'll see but they they're not greasy they look perfect they've got a little tiny dimple I see one little tiny dimple there okay so I see a few dimples uh, we'll see all right so for 606 I'm supposed to have 20 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So they gave me a plus one on that. And the way they cut these, uh, it's not, they're, they're, they don't stay together as well as drills from other diamond paintings. So that's why these bags are coming apart. Um, because the, the cutting goes almost all the way through the individual bags, uh, like separate, almost completely separates them rather than the kind of perforations that we're used to seeing on uh, our drill bags. So this actually seems to be coming from either a different factory for drills or something. I don't know. Okay, so that's 606. Okay, these colors are really beautiful. Really, really beautiful. Wow. Okay, 720. I need 32 of them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, and 33. So that's a plus one. And let's take a look at the quality of the drills. Again, I did not notice any tabs or trash 
in any of these bags so far. Uh, I do see dimples, but that doesn't seem to be affecting the, the shape of the diamonds. So again, I'm going to keep a close eye out as I'm drilling this painting and, and future paintings that have, um, that have uh, dimples in the drills because I do want to um, see if, uh, you know, where Rachel has found uh, is something that I also find. Okay. All right, I'm just going to set that aside for now. 704. I need two packages, and here are two packages. But if there's 200 drills in each package, I'm going to have about 133 drills extra. So um, so I, I don't care that they didn't give me more. Oh, and here's another 720. Okay, so there's another 720. Uh, plus one. So I've got plus two there. Um, yeah, so so far the thing that I like the least about these drills is the fact that the perforations um, make it too easy for the bags to rip uh, apart from each other before I want to separate them. Okay, so next is 742 and I need 17 bags. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, so you give me a plus three. All right, so I'm loving the inventory control on uh, on this company so far. 977, I need 17 of these as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, doesn't look like there's as many in here as there are in there, that's okay. Wait a minute, I'll ask track. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. That's 9, 7, 7, plus 2. All right. What's this? This would be 782. And... So I haven't found anything wrong with any of the drills. I haven't seen loose trash. I haven't seen any oiliness. I haven't seen static. The only thing I've seen is dimples. And I, I don't know, we'll see about the dimples. I'm not going to talk about dimples anymore. Uh, okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, and 26. And that is 782, so they gave me plus 3. Uh, 807, this lovely rich blue. I'm supposed to have 3, they gave me 4. 948, this sort of light peachy color, peachy cream, I don't know, uh, 948, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, so that's a plus 1, I'm going to have at least 200 extra drills, 3, 6, 8, 9, I have 2, ooh, this is pretty, 38, 48, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. I've got a plus 1 there. All right, I'm, I'm really, really happy with the quality uh, of the inventory on these. Uh, this looks like more 606. Um, 606, so that's plus... So I'm three over on the 606. Just taking these together. I suspect that the bags are all going to rip apart because, yeah, like they are not, like the, the cut is almost all the way through the plastic. So anyway. Um, that's okay. Uh, there's worse things that can happen. 
There are definitely worse things that could happen, like not having enough drills. Uh, okay, 829. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20. I have 829. So they gave me plus 3. 824. Uh, there's 4. That's what I'm supposed to have. I'm going to have about 120 or so extra. All right, so here, I bet you these are three tens. They are. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five. So I got twenty-five three tens. I need twenty-two, so that's a plus three. Now, uh, let me take this together. Let's see, where does it go? This way um, I'm going to take this together, and because three tens often are the worst drills in any kit, uh, let's take a close up look at these three tens. Looking for trash. We are looking for trash. Or we're looking for different size drills. Let's do that on paper. Let's do it on the paper. So I don't know about you, but so far I have seen zero trash. Um, they look to be flat. There are little dimples. I said I wouldn't mention that, but we are looking at three tens um, specifically to see whether there's anything wrong with them. I don't see anything wrong with these drills. And I got to tell you, uh, drills to me are pretty much the most important part of the diamond painting. Like the canvas is important, but the drills will suck the joy right out of any project if they're bad. Uh, at least for me. Um, you know, I, I wouldn't mind getting in touch with a company and saying, you know what, the canvas you sent me really sucks. And here's what's wrong with it, and here's why I want a new one. I wouldn't mind doing that, because I wouldn't have started the work and been putting my heart and soul into it. Drills, on the other hand, you start, well, for me, I start a project, and I don't want to, like, I don't want to set the project aside. I want to finish that project. And so it is a heartbreak for me when I get bad drills. So I'm looking at these drills and they look perfect to me. Um, I haven't seen any cupping. I haven't seen any broken drills. I haven't seen any grease. I haven't seen static. I haven't seen little bits of garbage. Oh, look, I misspoke. There's the first bit of garbage that I've seen. That's the first one. Um, so they're not absolutely perfect, but that's fine, right? Uh, okay, so it looks like these reds might have a little bit more garbage. These are 817s. Um, so let's see. I don't see any other problems with them. I don't see any cupping. Uh, I don't see hollow drills. Oh, one of the other things that I have not seen on any of the drills that uh, we've looked at so far, I have not seen any bubbles in the top because a lot of people don't like bubbles. I don't like bubbles. Um, but uh, I haven't seen any problem with the tops of drills. They look really pretty. So, okay, let's count the 817s. I'm supposed to have 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. I got plus 2. 
All right. So this is good because it builds up my stash of uh, leftovers. Um, assuming that I have no problem with these drills and don't need to throw out a whole bunch of them, which I see no indication that I will need to. Okay, here's 318. This is sort of just slightly darker than a dove gray. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. All right, and I'm supposed to have that. Okay, 371. Another seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I got a plus one. Uh, what is that? 371, yeah. Plus one. Okay. 598. Ooh, that's a pretty color. I'm supposed to have five of them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And again, they look perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 598, so plus one. All right. I'm getting there, people. I'm getting there. All right. 3705. This is a lovely color. I'm supposed to have three, and I do have three. Uh, 3705. Yeah. Um, I'm going to have almost 200 extra drills. It might be a little over 200 if there's more than 200 drills in each package. That's great. Okay. 413. I'm supposed to have three. They gave me four. I'm going to have scads of spares. 550. That's a really pretty purple. I love 550s. What I've realized is there's actually about five different colors of 550s that I have in my stash of leftovers at this point. Um, because uh, different batches really are different colors. This is a lot less intense of a purple. It's a beautiful purple, I love it. But it's less, it's got less black to it. All right, mm, 3801, I'm supposed to have two, I have three. Oh, that's a pretty, pretty color. Wow. Okay, and again, I see nothing wrong with those. 938. How many am I supposed to have? 18. So let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 of the 938s. I have plus three. Now let's take a look at these as well because again, sometimes it's the dark colors. But no, these all look great. They look great. I, I see nothing wrong with these drills. Okay, that's good. Uh, nine, no, nine ninety six. Supposed to have two of those. I have. Three. Oh, and for uh, diamond painters who are just starting out and uh, want to know a little trick, your bags will always have the sealing side on the same side. So, for example, here, the 3801s, every single bag of drills here, the, the sealed side, like they have the folded over side and then they have the sealed side, the sealed side will always be on the same side for every bag of drill you get, and regardless of which color it is, from a, a specific kit, unless they order from different factories. Uh, like if, if the company you get stuff from orders from different factories, then that's not gonna be the case. But then what that allows you to do, if you don't have a DMC color chart handy, is it allows you to be sure that this is not 966 because it opens on the wrong side. So this is a 996. Okay, so, uh, and 966, 9, 966, which I also happen to have. So again, we make sure that it's, uh, we can tell that this is 966 because the, um, seal is on that side. Um, 
we're supposed to have of 966 we're supposed to have four we have one two three four five so we have a plus one and for the 996 we have that plus one that I already marked okay so now we've got 3849 one two three four and that's what we're supposed to oh uh, that's correct all right oh 741 oh that's a oh okay there is a loose drill oh there's a couple of loose drills here okay so one of these little baggies is uh broken open so what i'm going to do is just get a little bag to put this color in so i i keep some of my old bags and um so i'll just put put those drills in here right. there might be more all right let's count 741. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36 of 741. Uh, 741 36 so they gave me an extra five bags like that's crazy man crazy good it's crazy good okay so I don't like this bag so I'm not gonna use this bag just a sec okay so I never get rid of my resealable bags uh, unless they were to rip open or something like that uh, which these are not uh, so I'll just Put those spare drills in here and then since i don't know which one of the bags uh okay i don't want that all right since i don't know which one of the bags ripped open i'm just going to put all of the 741s in here let's put them in first Oh, that was dumb. I rolled the numbers inside. All right, I'll roll, roll the numbers on the outside of this one. Okay, Whoa, okay, I found the bag that's ripped open. Um, yeah, it's this one here. Okay, I'm just going to put some tape on there to seal that up. Okay. All righty. Yeah, my bag's not big enough. Darn. 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 Okay. Um, okay, so I sealed up the ripped bag. Now what I have to do is pick up these drills, which I will spare you. All right. Uh, let's try this again, shall we? Together. There we go. Please tell me I yeah, I'm not the most good. Sandwich bag. And Bob's your uncle. There we go. Okay. All right, let's continue, shall we? 961, 2. So 
seven forty three one two three four five six seven eight nine ten wait a minute. one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty twenty one seven forty three twenty one so that's a plus three Oh, it's another 741. Okay. All right. Uh, 758. One, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. There seem to be a lot more of those than there were of some of the other colors. That's okay. 758. Did I say 12? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Yeah. So that's a plus 1. Okay. 945. Supposed to have 20. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. So plus three there. Okay, this company is not shy about giving out drills, which is good. Nine fifty-nine. Four. One, two, three, and four. Oh, no, there's no plus. That's just correct. Okay. Uh, this one is 38.08. And I have four bags. That's what I'm supposed to have. Oh, these are... Yeah, they, they, they cut them almost all the way through. So... Yeah, there's not much holding these bags together. So that's where tape comes in. Tape! Magical tape! All right. And does it really matter if they come apart? No. The only thing that matters is that I don't like searching for my color when I'm refilling my container because my comp containers hold a maximum of about five bags because uh, I'm using the Doris Elizabeth Ward. What the heck was that? What the heck was that? 3862. Oh, I didn't count. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, so I've got a plus one. All right. Um, yeah, so my Doris containers hold about five bags each. 390. Mm -mm. Eight ninety maybe? Yeah, it's eight ninety. So they gave me a plus one. Um and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to write on this with magic marker on the uh tape. Oh. All right. And I'm going to color, cover it over with another piece of tape. And that way I can actually read that because the um, eight, as you can see on there, is a little bit scratched off. So this way I now have a very clearly labeled bag. Okay, 890. I'm almost done. And in fact, I think this is my last color, 919. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. Twenty-one. 
18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. All right, I definitely have more than I need. Um, nine, nineteen. Twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That's how many I need. 26, 27, 28, 29. That's four extra bags of 919. Okay. Let's just make sure I'm not missing anything. Nope. Nope. I got everything. And I have... How many bags in total extra? Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, seventeen, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, thirty, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-seven, forty, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 37, 43, 52 extra bags of drills here. That is crazy, but crazy good. And as you saw, there was only one color that I had any problem with. Uh, and that was, I don't know, one of these reds, and there was a little bit of trash. Um, but I'm not concerned about that because that's the 817. And they sent me an extra two bags. So, I mean, I don't think there's that much trash that I would actually need extra bags, but I'm delighted to have extra bags. Okay, so that's it. So this is the nature bodice. And it is 60 by 80 and it's square. And I'm just writing Ohijia. I'm just writing the store on it because um, I'll want to do this. Like I have a few that I have that I have to do because they're gifts for people. Um, but I want to do uh, one of the Ouija ones uh, as soon after as possible because I want to test the store. And the only way to really test the store is to actually drill one of their diamond paintings and see how it comes out. So that's what I'm going to do. Maybe I won't start with the great big one. I might start with one of the smaller ones. But anyway, there you go. That is my review of the unboxing of the Ouija. Uh, so, you know, uh, overall impressions. The canvas looks great. The printing on the canvas is superb. Um, the diamonds look fantastic. Uh, the... Yeah, they look fantastic. The colors are rich and beautiful. Uh, I saw almost no trash. Um, a little weirdness here, you know, with the canvas uh, going just beyond the edge of the drill field. Uh, the glue goes, you know, beyond the edge on the top and the bottom. Uh, but I can live with that. That's fine. Uh, what's really going to be important to me is are these good drills? That's what I want to be able to report yes to you on at the end of this fourth. Oh, one of the other things I wanted to say about the Ouija store is that they have a lot of classical paintings on their store. So, you know, they, ha they have Leonardo's, they have, I think they have some Leonardo's. I found, um, I found, um, oh, I can't think of his name now. He does, I have like a poster of goldfish in a bowl on my, in, on my wall in my bathroom. Um, I can't remember his name. Anyway, uh, he, there's all kinds of classical artists on that website. And um, so if you like classical paintings, uh, that's one of the places to go. A lot of Van Goghs, a lot of Picassos. Um, yeah. So 
you can take a scan through there and see what you like. Okay. Um, yeah. So there you go. That's my, that's my, uh, that's my review. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give it a thumbs up and, um, subscribe to my channel. If you haven't, I love my subscribers. I want to thank all of my subscribers and all of my viewers, uh, for giving me the incentive to create new material for you all the time and try new companies and so forth. So that's really the end of the video now. Thanks everybody. Bye-bye. <laughs> I'll see you again soon.